Warning, this article contains major spoilers from Top Boy. Top Boy is never predictable with an abundance of plot twists, but how did Lyth and Lizzie's stories end? Last week, the third and final outing of the Netflix gang drama was dropped with all six episodes released for subscribers to binge watch at their leisure. Duchesne's, played by Ashley Walters, life quickly spiraled out of control this season which ultimately resulted in his death as he tried to escape with Sully's, Kane Kano Robinson, drugs. But the problem started for him when Duchesne got involved with Lizzie, Lisa Dwan, and her husband Jeffrey, Sean Dingwall, who have their own drug empire. It is in the first installment that Jeffrey introduces him to dodgy accountant Lithe, Michelle Newell, who Lizzie previously introduced Jamie, Michael Ward, to, who says she can help wisely spend the money he's earning. Top Boy star addresses potential for spin-off after final season Jeffrey tries to make things easier for Duchesne, telling him that Lithe would be able to help him wisely spend the money he's earning without getting caught up with police. He tells her that he is bringing in about 5 million a year with a projected turnover this year of 15 million pounds. With expenses and overheads, that would come down to about 10 million pounds with Lyth telling the gangster, washing 10 million pounds is going to be a challenge. You're a victim of your own success to Shane. Nevertheless, a partnership was formed and Lithe proved herself to be a trustworthy ally at this point. Don't miss! Top Boy's Duchesne star explains reason he wanted to end Netflix series, cast, Top Boy fans are working out Sully's killer, here's the top suspects, theory, Top Boy's Steph star disagreed with Sully's standoff scene, reaction, what happened to Lithe and Lizzie and Top Boy? In Season 3, Duchesne pays Lye the visit as he needs some of his money to pay for several new premises so Shelley, Little Sims, can make her nail business into a franchise. She seems a little shady when he asks for it, however, and says it's tied up in the consortium. Lye also informs Duchesne that she had to take £800,000 of the £16 million he gave her for the summer house development as a processing fee. Duchesne still insists that he needs this money but when he calls her up the next day, the phone rings out. Worried about what's happening, Duchesne calls Jeffrey who is also panicking as he has been locked out of his bank accounts with Lizzie nowhere to be seen. Even though it isn't his fault, Duchesne warns Jeffrey if he doesn't find Lizzie, Lithe and his money, he won't live to see the weekend. It is then discovered that the funds have been transferred to Soundrock, the shell company that Lithe set up with her, and Lizzie fled with his cash. In a fit of rage, Duchesne beats Jeffrey to death which results in the police coming after him and the kingpin desperate for money to go on the run. This is why Duchesne steals Sully's drugs but of course, he cannot allow this to happen and so his friend and business partner fatally shoots him. Top Boy is available to watch on Netflix.